What is up guys, Zack Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies Heroes and there's a brand new event card this week. It's now available in early access so you can purchase it from the store, uh, but you can try it out in early access. Uh, this is Unexpected Gifts. It costs three, it's a trick. Uh, you conjure three event cards and then the plant player conjures an event card. So you get three events, they get one, uh, it costs three. Uh, three cards. That means Dino Roar abilities will really benefit from that. Using Electric Boogaloo's modified Raining Cats and Dogs deck, expect some unexpected gifts. <laughs> Since it conjures three cards, it triple triggers the Dino Roar abilities of your dinosaurs. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do this. Uh, I've actually made three decks. Two of them are Electric Boogaloo decks. If we take a look at our collection right now and we go to our decks, um, here they are. Uh, I made uh, one of them basically just what they were talking about, based on the Raining Cats and Dogs. Due to the fact that there is the, uh, the the Mondo Brando with the Dino Roar, hopefully that'll that'll be triggered when we use that, and we'll see that in this uh, early access um, uh, daily challenge as well. I also did the rated upgrade uh, deck, kind of threw some in there. Uh, this is the raining uh, gifts based off raining cats and dogs. Again, just threw in four of the gifts, and then uh, there's going to be some ran randomness to it in terms of what we get, and then the rated upgrade gifts as well. Just kind of whittled, whittled it down a little bit, then added in for those cards. We'll see what happens. I also made my own deck uh, with the, with the uh, with the with the imp here. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be good, but the premise is uh, basically I, I provide some invulnerability. I do uh, some direct damage, some, and basically. You know, hopefully things grow with the Dino Roar, and hopefully, um, if you take a look at this, you know, all zombies in your hand get plus one, plus one. If you take a look at this, this does two damage. Um, hopefully, I can clear the, uh, clear out the lanes and grow. Provide shielding with this and with this, and uh, maybe even extra damage if you take a look at the binary stars. If if it works, I don't know if it will, but take a look at this. Quick draw, Con Man. When the plant hero draws a card, do one damage to them. So, what I'm thinking, uh, the reason I included this is that I'm forcing them to draw a card. So, hopefully, I can do a damage to them as well. Uh, could be cool. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the event first. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the packs. If you take a look at the store right now, uh, there is a GW2 Frosty gift. It's free. So, let's see what this means. I don't know what this is. But it's a uh, Plants vs. Zombies Heroes Frosty gift based on... PvZ Garden Warfare 2 in some fashion. I don't know what they're gonna give me. Uh, I really don't. I, I think it's just a gift. Just a gift, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, great. <laughs> I don't need that stuff, but hey, I just want you guys to know that it's in uh, the store for free. Um, so there, I, oh, you get Garden Warfare 2 cards. Interesting, okay. And here's an autumn gift pack. Free. Again, I just want to show you this so you know to go in and get your free uh, decks. Again, I'm going to recycle all these because I already have them. But it's good to know that uh, there there are some free cards available to you. Um, and then that's about it. That's free for now. I think we're good. Anyway, uh, go check it out if you... Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's see. Actually, don't look all the way. Yeah, I think we're good now. Okay, we're all caught up. And so I'm going to go ahead and recycle my uh, extras really quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, the early access challenge today and see if the unexpected gifts does indeed help us out if it doesn't great and uh you know we'll see if the dino yeah there, we got everything we need i guess i'm gonna get rid of those two because they're kind of expensive still everything's kind of expensive so we're just gonna stick with this i might use this to make two backup dancers might as well put them out there i know it's not gonna do much damage but it does feel the field a little bit Okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm nowhere. Next round, I'll be able to play it. Oof, takes out one of my guys. That's okay. Next round is where it's at. Again, I don't really have any sort of Dino Roar abilities quite yet, but uh, no, I'm gonna definitely wait for the, the the conjuring here. Here we go. Nice. I get three. He gets one. Those are good cards. These are event cards, meaning uh, that. There's a lot of randomness to this, and we, we don't exactly know what's going to be good or bad, but I'm going to go ahead and summon this guy. This looks good. Maybe I can do a trick later. It'll be cool to bounce him. Make up for it. Am I right? Let's see what happens. 
Come on now. Oof. Zombie player conjures a monster. Okay, so unfortunately, uh, move a zombie. Just who are you moving? Why? Um. So, I mean, yeah. I could do this. This is going to be... Man, this is going to be messy. Uh, let's just do it. Uh, this is risky. I'm going to take six damage. But I kind of want this guy to be alive. He's a 6-4 now. He's going to be way more powerful. He blocks. He draws two cards. This here is zombie evolution. All zombies get plus two, plus two. It's a good thing if I can pull it off. That's going to be the tough part, though, right? Um... So yeah, this does uh, one damage to all plants, so you gotta really think about it. Like, where do you want to do that damage, you know? I'm gonna put this here. Uh, there's really nothing else that's gonna give me cards right now, right? I'm gonna put this here. I know that it uses up all of my brains, but my hope is that I'm able to deal with this 4-2. Maybe I can pass on an egg. I don't know. I don't know what he's gonna do. Oh, great. Double strike. He evolution. Oh, man. He hit me right now. I'm going to have to block the next hit. Hopefully, the egg goes over to wherever. Please go in that lane. Please. No. Darn. Blocked. Hold on. Oh, no. I got hit before again. This is bad news, guys. Get ready. So, um, yeah. The whole thing about this is that I'm nervous. Oh, man. How do I even handle this? I do like the idea of this going in a gravestone because it'll protect me against any extra attacks for a little bit at least. We're gonna see, this is gonna transform into something that's two or less. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we'll, we'll see. I'm not doing too great this round. Just honestly, speaking to you guys honestly, I'm not doing too great. This is kind of cool because it transforms all zombies into random zombies that cost five or more. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I'm gonna get it for six. Oh, no. Great. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. He's gonna hit. Oh, God. Okay. I think I am going to die here. Because this is gonna do a double strike. I'm dead. And then it comes down and boom, six. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have to do this, do this event again before moving on to ranked battles. So uh, let's just ooh, let's just try again. They did not go my way. Hey, I got uh, uh, that. Cool. We'll try it again. I have to watch an ad. All right, let's give this another shot. Let's see what we can do. Because uh, I didn't do super well the first time, but hey, this time we'll be better. I'm pretty sure of it. So let's just see what we can draw. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of him. He's too expensive. I, I know that he's might be good, but he's too expensive. This is a good good start. I actually get to play. Right off the bat, so that's cool. Here we go. And I'm there, so I'm I'm taking you out. Cancellation. Not, not, not even a cancel. I, I, I survived to the next round. Fantastic. Now, this is to destroy one of their nuts or berries. I don't know if he's going to put out a nut or a berry immediately. This is uh, a pea plant. But I get to move there, which is cool. There we go. Wonderful. And I think I will save this for Dino Roar. I'm going to put this over here, actually. There we go. I will save uh, the this thing. Unexpected gifts for Dino Roar. Or if I just... Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, this is getting too much. I'm going to do five. He's going to do four. I need to take that out. Do three damage to a plant. Heal your hero. Well, wish me luck. I'll use it. Let's see. What's he gonna do, you think? This will give me plus two, plus two, and frenzy. If I want it, I do. Uh, I also kinda wanna do only two damage to each plant. Only two damage to each plant. It's not enough, I'm gonna do this. This will uh, take him out. I know he can put a P behind it later, whatever. Here we go, plus two, plus two, and frenzy is gonna make me do seven damage, maybe. Locked. Drats. It's okay. Here comes the three. 17 to 12. I'm going to block my next hit. 
We're talking about wanting a dino roar, right? Let's uh let's start right here. Maybe next round I'll draw a card. I don't know. My hope is that he does not put a torchwood in front of that, but he might. If he does, it's kind of game over for me, but not game over, but you know, but my guy's gone. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yikes. Luck, thankfully. Uh, two, what? No, I don't want to do that. Not necessary yet. Oh, that was great. I actually did the damage. All right. I'm happy with this right now. This is good. All right. This is going to be real interesting, I believe. Uh, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and just do this. I think we're good for now. Um, I'm gonna do the chickening, probably. Okay, this is, what kind of order was that? Uh, so change my mind, I'm gonna do, uh, I mean, I do wanna do the chickening, but I also wanna do Dino Roar. Um, darn, uh, let's see. Here, Dino Roar. <laughs> Let's just block some stuff. I know. So, uh, he takes me out there. I get hit for four. He might block, but it's okay. Oh, darn. He's gonna actually hit me for six. Play number three and win. Now that's some good news right there. That's what I'm talking about. All right, all right. That was awesome. You gotta believe me. I'm happy with that. We're gonna go into ranked battle now with the new decks that I made. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. All right, guys. Uh, this is my Z Mech deck. Let's see how it holds up. This looks like a great start, so let's go with it. This is interesting because every time he draws, I do one damage to them. She might transmogrify or, or whatever. That's the one problem I have with this. But if I put out this one cost thing, then, you know, fine. It just costs one. Not a big deal. Let's start with this. Draw a card, whatever. Transmogrify me. I don't care which one. All right. Interesting. Uh... Interesting. <laughs> so, I can already tell you what I want to do. And what I want to do is uh, go ahead. I, I don't want to do much. Actually, let me just give him plus five. Sure. He's now a zero seven, which is pretty cool. Very interesting. Now, this has uh, Dino Roar, all zombies in your hand. This pro this provides Rose an option, like wh which one do you want to transmogrify? Because this guy on the left is doing damage to you every round. You you're not blocking anything about it, so. Okay, there we go, freeze. Yeah, so here we go, get ready. I'm gonna use Weed Spray next round, most likely. All right. Fantastic. Gotcha. So yeah, weed spray is what I'm gonna do, probably. Because this will take out everything with two or less. She might play another thing that's two or less. I don't know. I don't know what she's gonna do, honestly. But I might do the trick. I might do this is really cool. All the time is you're gonna get plus one plus one. Uh she's choosing to transmogrify that, which is interesting. Okay, that's cool, because I'll transform next round, like, the, what phase do I transform? I don't even know, she's taking it out right now. What do I become? That's cool. Weed spray, two or less, is going to help, I think. Uh, sure. Cool. 
I think we're good. Twenty to seventeen still. I'm gonna go with this. Now she will still have go to five. This again, zombies in my hand get stronger and stronger. We'll see what she ends up doing though. Because I, I still have the escape through time. Oof. 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 Okay, get ready. I'm not so sure what I want to do. Okay, yeah. The bean attack. They should have played it in a different order, but she probably just threw that. So, again, the escape through time is going to help me, I believe. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, this is interesting, right? Excellent. So you know that this guy's coming out. And I'm going to play the event card. I'm going to play this next. Because she's going to draw a card. I'm going to do a little bit of damage. If these guys are going to start doing like two damage to me, then fine. See, he's, he's absorbing it at least. Here we go. This is going to be crazy awesome. All right, next round <laughs> is pretty phenomenal, honestly. Um, here we go, wow. It's 12 to 10, I'm gonna block my next hit, which is cool. Uh, this makes my tricks cheaper, which is pretty darn cool. I might do that. Uh, but also, I might... This What is this? This is a gravestone. I have a lot going for me, honestly. Uh, let's see. Oh, man. What do I want to do? Uh, I want to do something that takes him out, of course. Let's go with this and this. Sure. I don't know. I might block the... Uh, she plays a bean... Those are both pretty strong things. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna probably block the four, hopefully. That's gonna have a strike through as well. Block, thankfully, uh, a zombie gets plus three. Uh, sure, give it to him, I guess. All right, this is off the hook. This is crazy awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. Um, this is Conjure two superpowers, which is really cool. I might do this. Let's see. Let's see how this holds up. This could work if I if I play this right. This could work. What I want to do is I want to give this guy the you know the invulnerability of course. When a plant becomes hurt, it transforms. Yikes. That's fine. Oof. So yeah, let's do this really quick. Two superpowers are going to be conjured. Alright, this is great because I get to heal my hero for six. Uh, I now get to do... This is cool in a way. He might transform first. Let's see what he transforms into. Oof. Uh, and then this is, uh, this guy's gonna get, you know. Uh, 
All right, here we go. I draw a card, Dino roar it up. It's fine. And then here is the victory shot right there. Fantastic, guys. We're gonna do the electric boogaloo decks that I made. That was amazing. I was quite happy with that. Very cool. Wow. Okay. Good job, Zach. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try out my two electric boogaloo decks that I've made, and we'll see how far we can get. Oh yeah, I, I forget you get the win streak bonus. That's so cool. There we go. Nicely done. All right. This isn't very fair. This person's level one. <laughs> Uh, okay. This is the Raiden upgrade deck with the gifts added to it. <laughs> I don't know, man. What if this person wins? What if this person sees me and is like, are you kidding me? Why am I going up against a level 11? You know what I mean? Like, or whatever level I am. I would be like that. So this may not be very fair, but uh, we, we will get to showcase the card because I have it in my starting hand. So, I'll do my best. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go through that again. All right, here we go, up against the level, level 20. Um, last round, I was up against a level one, which, uh, who conceded. So that's why I'm now level 12. So let's see, this is a good start, obviously. I went play this, this gets plus three this turn. I might try to draw out any sort of middle attack. They might have the do the five in the middle lane, you know what I mean? Oh, interesting. That's you know that's great for me because I, I take that out. No peas behind it, then fine. This is to do a plant gets minus two, minus two. All other copies of the plant also get minus two, minus two. That's an interesting uh, card. You know, uh, oh god, okay. So, you know, I, I kind of want to just go ahead and minus two, minus two it already. And maybe even wait for next round to do it again. But we're each gonna do one damage. I don't like the idea that, you know, that plant can get more powerful the more it's frozen. This, do two damage to each plant, may not be a bad idea just to go ahead and start off like this, just in case something happens where I get frozen. I don't know what kind of plans. Another one like that. Wow. There you go. Well, that's it, right? That's going to be what it takes. I'm frozen. That gets powered up. Yikes. And I'm frozen for next round, too. Um, yeah, this is going to be odd. But this is uh, Dino Roar to two damage. I guess I'll put it over here, uh, with knowing that the caveat is I can get frozen. Doesn't really matter, I'm just here for the roar at this point. Oh gosh, man, that lane. I'm not gonna block that five. Okay. Let's see it, here we go. This is really interesting. I'm gonna go for this. I do have this, which is a plus two, plus two in Frenzy if I need it. I don't really know what to aim for. Oh God. Yeah, so this is uh, this is what minus two, minus two is really good for. The fact that I can just do that. And he's severely hurt. And I will get hurt quite a lot right here. Let's go ahead and take the pain. Let's see. I might take out one of these guys very soon with the fact that I'm doing Dino Roar. Good. Now this is uh, this is uh, probably the best thing I can do. Two damage to each plant. Get rid of him right now. Kind of a refresh of that character, that card. Uh, you can't give another plant that. That's really weird. But he's going to get boosted big time. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, crash here. She might block this. No, it's 13 to 9. She's going to block the next hit. Again, this is just a weird case where maybe this is best if I do that. But I think I'm also going to block the next hit, so I don't know that I want to. 
Goodness gracious. Okay. Man, these are strong. Gosh, that's so, that's so tough. Let's go ahead and do this. This is just no good. I'm gonna go ahead and power him up, I guess. Blocked, thankfully. Uh, destroy a damaged plant. And draw a card. Thank you. I can actually make use of this. Uh, is it, what, five in the middle? You think it's five in the middle? This is your one chance to go. It might be five in the middle. Oh, bounces? Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I'll take the bounce. Sure. So, I'm going to do this. Uh, this is also... Boom, and I'm gonna give him plus two plus two. I guess I should have. I guess maybe I could have done something a little bit better. That's okay. You know, I just thought about it, but sure, I'll take the damage maybe. But I'm gonna try to summon the unexpected gifts for us both. Double strike is not too bad there. Unexpected gifts. Hi. I got three things. Let's see how that pans out. So everything gets hit there. Boom, dead, only hits me once. Follow through with the, oh man, it's 13 to one. How's this gonna pan out? Uh, that's a good question. I'm gonna replace him. It's Captain Deadbeard, conjured by unexpected gifts. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and play them both. Like, base is loaded, you only have two cards, you're not gonna block everything, I hope. Unless you have a really amazing card. Oh, now you have now you have three cards. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. So got to deal with me over here. So I think I'm gonna win. Boom! Frozen doesn't matter. Victory. I got one more deck to showcase. And it's another Electric Boogaloo. Let's see how it goes. This one uh, was the one that was based on the raid and upgrade. The other one will be based on uh, raining cats and dogs. So let's go ahead and try that out. All right, this is the uh, the raining gifts deck that I made. It's based off the raining cats and dogs. Uh, I'm gonna go get rid of that. It's kind of expensive for now. And basically the premise is the same the same as raining cats and dogs except for that I have some unexpected gifts in here. So we'll see if I get some dino roar at play. If not, then okay. I'm gonna take that out next round. That is not a uh it's a bean pea plant, so when I can destroy, you know, a nut uh or berry, that you know doesn't count as that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just directly attack it. I don't want that thing over there. Environment play. Interesting. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna probably replace the uh Yeah, I'm not gonna play that yet. No nuts or but I assume that he's eventually gonna put out nuts. He's he's the he's the wall knight. I'm gonna replace his environment most likely. Um Maybe, I don't know. Oof. Oof. Yeah, let's do it. Man, that guy's gonna be, but he's he's damaged. I'm gonna destroy him next round. This is a uh, berry. This is uh, destroy one of their nuts or berries. So I'm actually gonna probably do that. Unless he plays another nut or berry, then I'll destroy that one. Then I'll destroy him because he's damaged. Because this is destroy a damaged plant draw a card. Here we go. Yep, this is perfect. Oof. Oof. He's gonna move over there. I'm gonna destroy this. I'm gonna destroy this. It's a good setup for me, obviously. Darn. Boom! Four damage. You know, I don't really mind doing this, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna put him out here. He's gonna summon a uh yeah, that he's gonna summon that. I might bounce. Uh, I might bounce uh, the squirrel harder again if he's gonna be playing nuts and berries, and that's gonna be perfect for me. This is cool. Um, oof. He's gonna move over one, I think. 
All right, so uh, again with this said I'm gonna go ahead and boost Him I'm gonna bounce this Cause she's gonna get the opportunity to destroy again, so this would be a uh, not even a cancel. This is a, this is a, a keeper right there. This is a cancel right here. 17 to 12. So you better believe I am summoning this again. So you know, here we go. Get ready for it. This here is a nut that's out and about. If there's a better berry or nut that gets out on the field. I will, of course, destroy that first. Darn. It's not bad. Uh, okay. What the heck? This is a uh, flower berry. Goodbye to you. And, uh... Do I want to do it? No. I think I want to do this. Here we go. Okay. This is great. Blocked. Oh. This is great because the Synchronized Swimmer, I'm going to copy the 7-7 seven, seven here, I believe. If I get lucky enough. Seven five. Okay, I'll copy the 7-5. It's 15 to 9. This is going to go stupendously, I imagine. So, right off the bat, this gets copied. Wow, am I right or am I right? That's great. Uh, and then again with the nuts and berries routine. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. That's an event card that is a leafy plant. It's a 3 4, so I'm still alive. Oof, double a plant. That's actually really good. Uh, it's now a 3-8. But, you're gonna see, oh. Victory! I was gonna destroy the wall, I was, then I was gonna use the, uh, the, uh, whatever, the Gibbs Frenzy, what was it called? The, uh, what was it called? I, I don't know why I clicked. Anyway, leveled up. What's it called? Going viral, I was gonna use going viral, she was gonna take it out. It was gonna be beautiful. But we've done a great job today. I do appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to come back next time for some more Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. I actually have two legendaries to still showcase from Colossal Fossils, so uh, I will be doing that soon. I uh, have a lot on my plate right now in terms of games, uh, but things are winding down. Uh, I'm almost done with Mario, uh, Super, Super Mario Odyssey. I'm almost done with uh, South Park. So, hey, I'll see you guys next time for some more Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.